Hello guys and welcome to my short tour through my WISE and Unity project I did for my diploma. Since I'm a sound designer and composer, please don't treat this game in category of gameplay, graphics, mechanics and that kind of uh, stuff. By the way, most of the sounds were recorded with this little fella, Zoom H6, and this NTG4 that I used for footsteps and folly. Okay, so let's jump right into it. As we are walking down the road, you can already focus on the ambience and the footsteps that are connected to the FPS controller. And I'm saying all that because those things are gonna be changing through the map. Okay, the train as an emitter, and if we come close to it. Then it's getting angry. Okay, let's check out the town. Um, the ambience is changing to a more woody, rattling sound of empty town, wind howling and everything. And from about this point, we are starting to hear the church bells. The, birds, the, the bells are getting louder as we approach, obviously. The saloon probably the most important place in our town. The footsteps are changing depending on the wooden surface, the crowd, the piano. It's actually me playing the piano. You probably can't really see me, but it's me. Um, the jumping works, by the way. Okay, let's go to the desert for some views. But if we come close enough to this sign, then the music starts playing to make our trip even more enjoyable. So as we enter the desert, uh, the footsteps are changing and the wind is getting stronger. The windmill sound is uh, actually it was quite interesting in the creation process, but I'll talk you through it uh, in wise. The music is, of course, uh, randomized in many ways, so I don't really know the specific outcome uh, each time, each time uh, I, I play it. Alright, now the behind the scenes fun part where I'll be focusing on my favorite weapon of choice, Audio Kinetic Wise. Um, the project is actually quite simple, yet ready for hypothetical further implementation. So I organized my assets into four different categories, ambience, emitters and player in the Acta Mixakaraki and the music and the music karaoke, obviously. You can hear in the game that objects and ambiences can be heard in different volumes according to the distance between the object and the player. I used a simple yet powerful tool for that, which is share sets. And share sets work very easily. You have the curve of the distance, uh, maximum distance set in here, or medium emitters, for example, like windmill or the train. If we come far from the source, then it's becoming less loud. 
more quiet. Back to the audio tab. General ambience uh, can be heard across the map and it's combining three different random containers with birds that will or won't play depending on the randomization. Um, the volume, the pitch uh, and the filters are automated too to create it even more realistic, uh, realistic sound experience. The insects I recorded through that window last summer and one simple container with wind. Although the wind system is much more complicated than that. For example, the ambience town is containing three different random containers each of them containing three or four different automated samples that are constantly changing back and forth. In the map I have set various ambience points in different directions because when I asked myself how do we really hear the wind in real life, I came up with the answer that most of the time we hear such things like they were coming from different sources or places around us. The emitters are really straightforward, nothing fancy here, but this windmill I've told you about in Unity, it's actually made out of three ingredients, metal, which is actually an old vice pitched down, uh, I have an old vice in my garage, uh, the scrubby sound, same instrument but played differently, and container with wood which is actually a wooden doors at my shed all together with some ambience for example sounds like an old windmill to me the player movement and it's actually a switch container for footsteps that contains different surfaces i recreated right here in my room uh, also, very important when creating any kind of movement uh, is the folly, obviously. And since, since we are in the Wild West, the spurs, obviously, made with some coins and keys, very easy. Altogether, it mixes to something like that each time we play a footstep. Uh, of course, depending on the switch we choose for the surface. So, last but not least, the music, probably my favorite part. Uh, since it's a, game audio, it's a game audio reel, I won't be really focusing on the composition itself. But what I can say is when you're writing a piece for your game, you should probably know the vision of the implementation uh, before you even start the process and that's the, the, the main difference to me. So I came up with this simple playlist, intro that will play once, then the main group with verse, bridge, chorus, breakdown, bridge and back to the verse and this group will play infinitely. The loop count for bridge and uh, sorry, the verse and chorus is set to play randomly between two and four loops. But what is actually the most interesting thing uh, is the reorchestration I used here uh, for the verse, for example. Each instrument I use has a couple of rhythmic and harmonic uh, variations. The instruments are set in random step groups. So what it means, each time I play it, there would be a different uh, parts uh, uh, playing. Also, some of the instruments like flutes or orchestra or the kick or most of them uh, has a empty track because no option is also a great option. For example, the flutes, if we will play the flutes only, we will hear variation one, two or three or like in this case we won't hear anything. Another try and we should, and we have take, we have heard a different take, and it works like this with all the instruments. Mm -hmm. 
The other parts are probably made very in a very similar way, but the bridge, for example, has only two variations, very nicely set entry and exit queues, uh, and what they do for the project is actually there is no a rough, ugly transition between the loops and everything is working just fine. If you made it to the end, then I would love to thank you very much for your time. Uh, I appreciate that. Feel free to leave some feedback and if you have any questions or ideas about how to make those things better, I would love to have a chat with you. If you have some interest in working with me, please be sure to check out my portfolio at this site and hit me via Gmail or DM or whatever. Thank you once again. Take care. Bye.